Hello everybody, J-League Monthly has kicked off for 2023. I'm Sean Carroll. I'm here sadly without Harry Sugiyama today. He's over in London watching Arsenal. We're coming to you from Yokohama F Marinos, brand new clubhouse, last year's champion. We're going to speak to some of the players, maybe the manager as well. Come and join me. We're going to have a great day. This year, once again, we'll be bringing you all the excitement from Japan's professional football league with J-League Monthly. For today's first episode, we're placing a special focus on Yokohama F Marinos, who won their first J1 title in three years last season. We'll visit Marinos' brand new clubhouse and also have a chat with manager Kevin Muscat. I suppose revolving with people, but also mm. you know trying to you know, evolve the football. And of course, as ever, we'll also bring you this month's Super Play Best Five. Enjoy the show. Right, okay, here it is. This is their beautiful new clubhouse. Looking very fresh, very clean. And there is the emblem of the reigning J-League champions. We're going to be speaking to their manager, Kevin Muscat, and some of the players shortly. And you can see maybe right down the end there, that's the training ground, the new training ground the players have been using from this year. Here are the shirts of the champions. I'm sure many of you want to get your hands on them. Uh, and of course, the training today is open for the fans. So there are some fans around. They'll be coming to see the players. Um, I believe they're taking the year, yearly team photo as well today. Uh, so the players will be looking resplendent in their, uh, in their blue, red and white uniforms, the tricolor. And it won't be long before, look at that pitch. Perfect turf, looks great. I'd love to get out there and have a kick around. Maybe when Harry's back, Okay, everybody, so you can just see over here in the background, the players are out. They're all out in their uniform, in their kits. Uh, I wondered initially why, I thought maybe they were training in it, but as you can see, they're about to take their, uh, their team picture for the year. And then you can see just over here, the media working just beyond them. Lots of fans coming to watch them on this beautiful sunny day. Okay, so you can see the team are out now training. This was last year's champions. And I think the key for them last year was just, they had so much depth in the squad. They had players in every position pretty much that could come in and fill in for each other. Um, goals from many different positions. Um, obviously the strikers, but you know, uh, Kota Mizunuma out on the right was, was excellent as well. Plenty of assists, Elbert also contributing and just depth all the way through. Midfield, so much choice. In defense, so much choice as well. Um, and ultimately, that was what took them through to win the title. Hi, I'm going to show you the Lopez Engine. 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 Ah, ano passado foi um grande ano, onde eu fui, é, fiz 11 gols, dei 6 ou 7 assistências também e saímos campeões. Né? Esse ano, meu objetivo é ser campeão novamente e brigar pela artilharia e vou buscar isso. O Marope Senjiu, a gente tem uma experiência no Japão, mas também tem uma experiência no Japão, mas também tem uma experiência no Japão, mas também tem uma experiência no Japão. 環境と、まあ、海外のサッカーに比べて、最もあの、まあ、難しいところとか、まあ、何が、最も違いところがありますでしょうか。ああ、ジャポンは、でも、たくさん、テクニカ、ジャポネズ、そう、べ、まいす、プレパラーズ、プジョーグス。いい、それ、むき、みち、ね、プレゼント、こう、こばら、こう、こばら、そう、こばら、しな。ああ、ディフェネンシャー、え、アブスウォーダ、じ、じ、じ、じ、じ、テクニカ、じ、とう。ジャポン、あし、プラミエ、やしま、ちょっと、ば。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Thank you. ありがとう。ありがとう。はじめまして、はい、ショーンと申します。西村です。あ、よろしくお願いします。ますこの前あの西村選手ももう代表でも活躍してあの得点しました。それを経験はもう今振り返ってどうですか。まあ本当に多くの刺激を受けましたし。と自分の価値観も大きく変え変わ
った経験でしたし、まあ、この先自分がどうしていくのかが大事だと思いますでその舞台でもまあ結果残すとかもそれはも,もちろん自信になると思いますけどこれから絶対これを改善しないといけないところがありましたか、まあ、全ての一つの一つのプレーの精度であったりレベルを上げることがやっぱこの先もっと大事になってくると思うし上のレベルに行けば行くほどそういうところが大事になってくると思うあと監督についてあのまあちょっと面白いタイプだと思いますけど監督の性格とかその指導タイプそうですねボスマスカット監督はあそうです森保さんじゃなくてあのマスカット監督はどのタイプですかどういう人ですかいや、えー<笑>顔は怖いですけど、優しい、優しい、優しい、優しい。僕はあの後で監督にも。仲間もいい。そうそうそうそうそう、気をつけてください。えー、仲間もいいです。仲間もいい。はい。あと最後にあの今年は三十、ジェリーの三十周年。だけど、西村選手はまあ子供の頃、ジェリー見ましたか、なんか特に思い出とか。見てないの。ちっちゃい子。<笑>わあ、小学校とかはお父さんとよく名古屋。あ、そう。グランパス見に行ってました。で、その頃に絶対僕はプロサッカー選手になりたいみたいな。はい、そこでもう。その舞台に立ちたいなって思ってました。うん、わかりました。<笑>じゃあすみません。あのまあ次の試合も頑張ってください。代表も頑張ってください。Thank you very much. Thank you. ありがとうございました。え英語で大丈夫ですか ？Can we do it in English? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay.、Oh. Your English is better than mine.、No. <laughs> <laughs> How is this season going? Obviously, last year you came to Marinos, they won the league.、Mm -hmm. Again, you had obviously difficult times as well with some injuries and、uh -huh. stuff. But how have you seen? Obviously, last year winning the league, and now this season, how do you see the season so far from, from watching the team so far? How、yeah, have you seen obviously, it? Obviously,、uh, Marinos is a really good team. We won the league last season, but we are still improving. Yeah. And how about this clubhouse? This is great. Like last year, the club didn't have a clubhouse、exactly. and you won the league. <laughs> now you've got this amazing clubhouse.、Yeah. How, how important is that? We have to win the league, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do more than win the league yeah, somehow.、Exactly. Yeah, we have、uh, ACL, another two cup games.、Mm -hmm. So this is also. Our aim to win the, all the titles, but、uh, like I said,、uh, we need to focus every、uh, single training, every single day, and、uh, try to improve ourselves. And yeah, this is more important. And you mentioned the derby there. Obviously, you played over in, in Europe as well. Is there a difference? What's the biggest difference you find between football? In Europe and football in the J League. Like for me, I'm English, so like derbies、mm -hmm. in England sometimes、yeah. is kind of dangerous for the fans, for <laughs>、yeah. the players, there's lots of things. In Japan, obviously, there's a little bit,、mm -hmm. but it's a lot safer and things.、Yeah. That's one difference I, that I, I think see. this is a big difference.、Yeah. I think the fans、mm. are more aggressive in Europe,、oh. especially when I was in Germany. I had the derby against Hamburg ISP.、Uh -huh. It was really, <laughs> it's dangerous, I would say. <laughs>、uh, but、uh, yeah, I had a, lo a lot of good experience, of, of course.、Uh, Japan fans are really warm and welcome. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I think this is a difference between Europe and、uh, Japan, I think. And just last question you, obviously, you're coming back from injury again. I was、mm -hmm. at the game when you got injured in the EAFF Cup. It was another, another tough time for you, and you obviously it must have been a boost to get back into the national team. It gives you confidence.、Mm -hmm. How is how's your recovery going? Do you have a target of like when you want to be back, or are you just being careful and making yeah, sure? Yeah, I would say being careful、mm. because,、uh, yeah, I think every single day, every single training session is really important for me.、Mm. So I would say I don't set any goals. Right. I try to focus every single day, like like team did, does, you know.、Mm. I focus every single day, every single moment. so... Yeah, this is my、uh, key、yeah. to get back on the pitch again. But I try to work hard every day.、Yeah. Hopefully, you can come in as the season goes on, be kind of like a new signing and give the team a boost. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, good luck. Thank yeah, you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much、thank、for your time today. Good luck. I hope you understand、recovery. my English. It's perfect.、Thank、I told you. you it's better than mine. No, <laughs> no problem. No. <laughs> so, yeah, coming into this season, Marinos obviously lost players in key positions. Goalkeeper Takaoka has gone over to, to the MLS.、Um, Iwata, of course, has joined Ange Postikoglu, their former manager with Celtic.、Um, Nakagawa, Terehito Nakagawa, has gone to FC Tokyo. So there's been changes, key players in key positions. So the key for Marinos this year is going to be how well the new players who've come in can fit and if the players last year who contributed so well can keep doing so. We can see they're training now, the spirit looks really good. They've had an okay start to the season, a couple of defeats so far, but they're doing okay. And the key is now for these players is going to be dealing with the pressure, I think, of, of being the champions from last year. Trying to win back to back titles is not easy. 
they need to now try and deal with that pressure of the opponents always wanting to beat them. But as I said, the mood looks good. We spoke to Muscat just before. He seems happy. So it's going to be another exciting season for them. And I'm sure they're going to put a great challenge in. Yoroshiko onegaishimasu. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for joining us today for this Pleasure. interview. We're just going to kind of chat freely about your time in Japan. Cool. About Marinos, then a bit about the J League. Nice. Um, you've been here now. Is this your, this your third, kind of your third season, right? You had one yeah. full, one half. This is your second full Correct. season. Yeah. So how are you feeling settled in Japan now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, both. Both with the, the football, uh, you know, because it was, uh, it's not, a, it wasn't really a, a transitional period because I'd, I'd uh, experienced enough of Japanese football before, mm. before I arrived. So it was, um, from that side of it, it was, you know, fairly, you know, seamless and uh, albeit you come in mid season and yeah. you know it's pretty pretty hectic and um, I remember you know when we and it was actually quite good because we had seven games in August mm -hmm. and I arrived in July and we had seven games yeah. in, so I remember vividly that we spent a lot of time together so mm. uh, it was a good opportunity uh, you know to, to get to know everyone of course we've done a lot of planning prior to yeah. arriving um, and then yeah obviously it's a continual evolution, really. Yeah. Not not only in in people, because there's a constant, uh, I suppose, revolving of people, but also mm. you know trying to you know evolve the football. Yeah. And uh, from that side of it, it's it's been great. And having done so well last year and won the league, obviously mm. now that not only raises expectations, well, yeah. of your own expectations and the players, yeah. the fans here. But it also means that the teams you're playing against yeah, come in with a little bit. Yeah. Oh, this is the champion from last year. We yeah. we want to beat them. We want to get the win. Mm. How difficult is that now to come in and and get that set? You obviously mm. want to win the title again. Yeah. What do you think is the key this year to being able to defend the the title? Yeah, it's two parts to it, and you're touching them both. That uh, you know other teams, and we speak about what other teams think, but we we've got zero control over what they yeah. do. So that's the first part of it. So you know we we show no. Uh, emotion and we, we pay no attention. Of course we analyse everyone and we respect mm -hmm. everyone, but it's the emotional side and we're not thinking about what they're thinking. And from, from our side, it's, uh, you know, we're not, um, we're not, you know, we've spoken about that, we're not defending anything because we're playing for a completely different trophy. Right. Last one's out mm -hmm. of the way. Uh, I know it's very cliche, but um, uh, positive reinforcement and messaging is so important. Uh. Uh, and uh, we recognise that. And then adding to that, that this is you know, almost a, it's it's a very different team. Yeah, of course. So uh, does that mean half the team are defending it? Right. Yeah, yeah, of course, so yeah. So that's so we've you know wiped the, the that slate clean, and uh, you know we've got some objectives, and they're not goals. Objectives about you know what we want to achieve in terms of you know what it looks like and how mm. we how we're going to play. Uh, from that side of it, many you know teams have started this year. Like I've seen much more aggression in intensity in, in uh, pressing teams that maybe weren't doing. So mm. I think it's been it's been refreshing from yeah. that perspective. And what it's done, it's it's got me thinking. It's got us thinking. You know, how do we adapt here? Mm. How do we? You know, principles will remain. They're, they're set in stone. But how do we adapt here to uh, uh, convert? You know, what we were trying to achieve, but uh, achieving it in a different way. Um, so we're in the process of that, and it's enjoyable. Uh, it's it, it really is you know this, the the analysis the staff I don't think we've worked so hard because trying to find ways mm. to to give us uh, the advantage and uh, yeah. it's been great. Yeah, just lastly I think um, yeah, this this is going out on the international YouTube channel. The okay. J League is really trying to push now. There's more players, um, coaches like yourself. There's more players yeah. coming over from. It used to just be Brazil, South Korea. There's players from all over yeah. the world now coming. Yeah, correct. They're trying to sort of. Get the games out there for fans to watch now. They're yeah. showing, I think, three, four games a week YouTube, yeah, live yeah. on YouTube for free and stuff. Mm. You've been here for, you know, working in the J League. How, how would you kind of sell mm. the J League to foreign fans? How do, you, how do you speak to people back home in Australia and sort of tell them that this league is worth yeah. watching, that this is a model that, yeah. that Australia and other places can, can learn from? Oh, from, from you know, I've been saying that for, for a long time, you know. But if we speak about Australia, there, there's always been, you know, from Australian the football community to you know, look at the Japanese fo the, the Japanese football and the J yeah. League is you know considered in Australia already as the premium competition in Asia. Yeah. So there's no convincing from from that perspective. Um, what we really need to do, if uh, the one thing that um, 
in Australia that you know Japan have had a, a model so to speak and mm. and stayed on course for a period of time you know 30 years now yeah in the Jali and it's you know continued to grow and continue to grow and you know in Australia where we've actually been the opposite we keep reinventing the wheel and mm. two or three years of you know a and two or three years of B mm. and two or three years of C uh, but I think from also to from Europe because you know Australia's converted I think, but post World Cup, another you know decent uh, uh, hit, hit out of the World Cup, and the amount of players that are uh, Japanese players that are playing in Europe, uh, it's been highlighted obviously by yeah. uh, the guys who have gone to Celtic. Yeah, of course. Um, so, and what we found now is that uh, the recognition of the, the Japanese market, Japanese players, mm. that you know, previously I suppose the preconception was, uh, you know, the Jap. Japanese stereotype can't uh, compete physically, mm. and that myth has been broken. Yeah, like it's it's been broken. Yeah, like Japanese players again stereotype can only play in one system. That myth has been broken mm. now, uh, and uh, the more players that uh, keep leaving and the exposure is getting bigger and bigger, um, I think there's more eyeballs and it's growing. Uh, on the Japanese, certainly from uh, the clubs and agents' perspective. Yeah, of course. You can trust me that the eyeballs have, yeah, yeah. Uh, have, have increased dramatically. And, and particularly this year, like I've said, I've, I've, I've enjoyed not only a lot of our games, but you know I've watched in, mm. uh, many other games, obviously analysing opponents, and I've enjoyed the, the football uh, from that perspective as well. You just better hope that if they watch one of your games, it's one that you win. You don't want them starting to support the team that no, <laughs> you no, came up against. No, well, uh, one thing is, uh, one thing's for sure. If you tune in and watch our games, um, you'll be excited. Uh, <laughs> we want to, uh, you know, our way of playing is uh, is uh, you know very very direct and, and exciting, and um, and that's why you know the atmosphere, you know, our fans created our games is, is second to none. Perfect. Thank you very much for no your problem. time. Thanks Thank a lot. you, mate. Great good to, to speak to you see always. It. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah, cheers. Take Thank care. you. Okay, there we have it. Thank you very much for joining me today. That's the end of this J League Monthly. I look forward to seeing you next time. And now I'm going to leave you with this month's Superplay Best Five. See you again. Thank you very much.